6A Bosch pump. Um, I've had 1030 case diesel. So this pump is the best. Uh, we've been showing that to you. Um, and this position, almost upside down, seems to be the best position to get the fluid in where we want it. And we're going to give you a general point now. We've lubed the head and the top where the fuel is. We've lubed this all with, you know, PV Blaster WD-40 any of the uh, lubricants but if you can see and you may not be able to through the springs there's a cup um, and that cup seems to be where a lot of the corrosion resistance is so by having it this position we can fill this area with ATF fluid extra mercurant, anything slippery. And uh, then we forcefully work the rack back and forth. And and then we also let it set much better than it was. And I'll show you, I'm gonna finish driving the rack home. And then, then we're gonna hit it with a slide hammer. See it bounce a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get on it with the slide here. Unfortunately, I can't get everything in the caption so you can see it while I'm doing it. So I have tension on it now. I'm gently working the slide here. You see the movement. Now we're all the way. So now we can take it back the other. And that's how it's been with this pump. Um, it's been way sticky. It currently is way looser than it was. Just some gentle taps to drive it back. And honestly, you can see we're using a pretty small ball peen hammer. You know, we have a six millimeter bowl here at the end of the uh, uh, rack, which I'm not sure it fits in the caption, but uh, anyway, uh, if it's not too stuck, you probably can do this on the tractor, but uh, this pump is way beyond the beyond. Again, working the slide hammer, just gently, and she goes right to the bottom. So, we're close, keep working at it, keep trying to, you know, save it from going in for a rebuild. I uh, ordered a gasket kit for it, it should be here in the next few days, and hopefully by then we'll have this slicked up and working well, and uh, ready to uh, put the kit in and get it back together. So I'll widen you out and give you a little overview of it. And uh, then we'll call this short video a wrap for today. And uh, see what you think of it. There she says, you see, Clearly you see the six millimeter bolt we have threaded in. You see the uh, bolt for the uh, lift pump. And the lift pump looks good. It just needs, you know, re-gasketed, cleaned up a little bit, sits in here. And then on the 30 series, the lift pump says toward the motor which is a huge pain in the ass if you have a bad lift bulb. Um, I have another one on the 930 that we bypassed and put an electric pump on. But uh, 
we're going to fix that and take that off soon and use the electric setup for a quick prime on these when we like this one for example when we refilter it all new filters and the tank's been cleaned um, we're going to use that electric pump system to charge it rapidly so we're not pumping it all day to make her talk so again this is where we're at right now again process continues thanks for watching